The best-selling author of Tribes and Purple Cow has written the most important book ever written about marketing. Seth Godin, a famous business writer, says that every marketer needs to ask three important questions. What's your story? Will the people who need to hear this story believe it? Is it true? Every salesman has a story to tell. We believe them if they do it right. We think that a $20 glass of wine tastes better than a $1 glass of wine. We think a $80,000 Porsche is much better than a $36,000 Volkswagen that is almost exactly the same car. We think $225 boots are better for our feet and make us look cooler than a $25 brand. And if you believe it, it's true. Great marketers don't talk about features or even perks, as Seth Godin has taught hundreds of thousands of marketers and students around the world. Instead, they tell us a story that we want to believe, whether or not it's true. In a world where most people have too many options and not enough time to choose, every business is a marketer, and marketing is all about sharing stories. Marketers are successful when they tell us a story that makes sense to us and that we want to share with our friends. Things like the Dyson machine, Fiji water, and the iPod come to mind. But be careful. If your stories aren't true, you go beyond lying and into scam. Marketers fail when they are selfish and dishonest, when they misuse the tools of their trade and make the world worse. Telemarketers, cigarette companies, and officials all learned this the hard way. But the rest of us should recognize the power of the story. As Godin writes, stories make it easier to understand the world. We only know how to spread an idea through stories. Storytelling didn't start with marketers. They just got it right. In the first chapter, Got Marketing, Godin explains that marketing is all about telling stories and that the best marketers are the ones who tell the most real and interesting tales. He says that people don't make decisions based on logic, but on their feelings and the stories they tell themselves. So the most successful marketers are the ones who know this and create stories that appeal to the feelings and beliefs of their customers. In step one, the anatomy of a lie, Godin says that all marketing is basically a lie because it shows an idealized version of reality that may not be completely true. But he says that this isn't always a bad thing as long as the lie is real and makes sense to customers. He uses the organic label on food as an example. This label may not always be completely true, but it still appeals to people's desire for healthy, natural goods. In step two, finding your story, Godin talks about how important it is to know your audience and tell a story that reflects their beliefs and values. He says that the most popular stories are those that appeal to basic human needs, like the need for love, respect, and success. In step three, living the lie, Godin talks about how important it is in business to be real. He says that people are getting smarter and can easily tell when a brand isn't being honest or real. So, it's important for marketers to live the lie and make sure their marketing themes match up with what their brand is really like. In step four, spreading the word, Godin talks about how important word-of-mouth marketing is and how influential people help spread the word. He says that the best marketing strategies are those that can turn customers into brand evangelists who tell their friends and family about the brand. In step five, keeping your integrity. Godin talks about how important it is in business to stay honest. He says that marketers who are honest and open with their customers will end up building better relationships with them and making their brands more successful. Overall, all Marketers Are Liars is a fascinating look at the psychology of marketing and how important it is to be honest when making marketing efforts that work. By knowing the power of stories and how important it is to live the lie, marketers can make campaigns that connect with customers and, in the end, build successful, real brands. Thanks for watching our Amazon book review. If you found our review helpful and you're interested in checking it out for yourself, we've included a link to it in the description below. By clicking on that link, you'll not only get more details about it on Amazon, but also support our channel at no cost to you. So go ahead and click that link to grab your copy of the book and dive into an exciting reading journey. Happy reading and thanks for your support.